Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my February favorites and let's just skip over the intro. I mean, nobody wants to listen to me ramble on about nothing anyways, so let's just get right into my favorites. Okay, so starting off with face makeup, we have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I've been loving putting this underneath my Revlon BB Cream every single day. I've been noticing that I have larger pores like around my cheek area, like here. Um, and this definitely helps minimize them and it like prevents my BB cream from like settling into my pores because that is just not a good look. It ain't cute. So this definitely helps me out a lot. It does not mattify my face and that's like the only thing that's really horrible about this is that it will make me a lot more oily. So I kind of have to just load up the powder, load up like the Urban Decay De-Slick Spray and then I'm pretty much good to go but it does make my skin a lot oilier. Um, even though I've been getting drier skin since it is the winter, um, but overall I do love it and I love the fact, oh my, totally just dropped that, disregard that, um, what was I even saying? But I do love the fact that it minimizes my pores, so that's why it's my fave. <laughs> okay, so moving on with the face products, I have this concealer, which is a Maybelline, again another Maybelline product, we know Kira's obsessed with a Maybelline, it's like my favorite drugstore brand, anyways. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Treatment, oh, I was reading, yep, I was reading the wrong side, that was totally in French, is that even in French? Okay, yep, we're gonna start that over again. So it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment, got it. Um, I've been loving this, it's like a really light concealer, so it definitely highlights underneath my eyes, not too much that it like makes me look like I'm highlighting my dark circles, but it's just a beautiful shade for my skin tone right now because I am just horrendously pale. It does settle into the fine lines underneath my eyes, which is a bummer, but I just kind of set it with a lot of powder and then I'm pretty much good to go. But I've been absolutely in love with this concealer this month, it just makes my under eyes look flawless and the product is flawless. So this month I've been super super into matte eyeshadow. I kind of go in and out of phases of loving it and then being more into shimmery eyes, but this month it's been like matte eyes like for the win. So I have two little palettes that I've been reaching towards like basically every single day this month. The first one is the Physician's Formula Classic Nudes. I love this quad. Honestly, I think it's like $7 at the drugstore. Absolutely worth every single dollar. It's just, the formula is so good, and the colors you get are so wearable, and like, honestly, you will wear them every single day. They're just, they're super pigmented, you're probably not going to be able to see that, because they're literally, like, just really close to my skin tone, but they are so good, the formula is so just pigmented and amazing, it's hard to come across, like, a really, really good and non-chalky matte eyeshadow formula, and this definitely brings its A game, like, I'm in love with it. And the other palette that I've been loving is my Lorac Pro Palette. It is just amazing. I've been loving, in particular, um, the Shadows Cream. I've been loving white, actually, um, to kind of brighten up my eye a little bit, um, just on my lid. And then I've been loving putting taupe in the crease. I totally just put my finger into that. Um, light pink a little bit on my lid. Um, sable in the outer V, if I want to smoke it out a little bit. Um, and I've been loving Nude, too, which is a shimmery shade. Uh, for my inner corners. I just think it's like a really brightening, like kind of almost reflective shade. I think it is gorgeous because I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube like have a really bright inner corner and I just think it looks so good and you just look so like youthful and like awake. I think it is so cool. I don't know if it's like a trend that's kind of catching on, but I've been definitely noticing it a lot around YouTube. So I've had this product for a while now, probably at least six months, and I've just started to realize how amazing it is. And it's a Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and Demzel. I'm just going to swatch this so you guys can see. I literally, I barely even touched my hand. It is so freaking pigmented. Do you see that right there? I literally barely touched it. It's insane. I've been loving tightlining my upper, like, waterline. Um, it, I just think it brings so much definition to my eyes without looking like I rim my eyes with, like, brown eyeliner. It's just, it's so natural, but it, it just looks so good. I don't know. I think it suits me really well. I don't know. I was really excited when I found out, like, this technique really works for me. Um, it takes, like, a while to get used to, like, the feeling of you tight lining your own eye because it feels weird. It's like, why am I basically sticking an eyeliner in my eye? But it definitely pays off because it just looks amazing. So I have basically found my new favorite mascara. It is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Wow. I mean, I had it. 
I bought this last spring and I was just like, oh no, no, I don't feel that. Because it was like a dry formula and I just didn't really know how to like properly apply mascara. I know that's so embarrassing. Um, I would just like coat like the ends of my lashes and then they would like droop down. I didn't really know that you had to go like into the base and kind of like wiggle it out or just like get it all over your lashes. I know that's so embarrassing, like mascara is like the easiest thing to do that like literally everybody can do, but except me at the time. Okay, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm a spaz today. I love this mascara, it brings a lot of uh, separation to my lashes and it volumizes and it is just amazing. I totally recommend it. So my last makeup product that I'm going to talk about is this NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. It's one of the new um, shades that they brought out this year. It is so amazing. I'm wearing it today. It is like my lips but better. I know everybody says it. It's such like an overused phrase, but it is gorgeous. And the smell of this, it's like cream cheese frosting and like cake batter in one and they just had a baby and then this is a smell that they made all right yep just gonna stop talking okay so this is the swatch right there oh my gosh it's gorgeous it is so comfortable on the lips i just i just i can't even describe how much i love this this is basically my favorite makeup product for the month it is just the love of my life basically so on to random favorites. I have actually quite a bit to talk about. Usually I don't have like a lot of random favorites, but this month I do, so let's get started. All right, so I have been loving, just loving How I Met Your Mother. I watch it like nonstop on Netflix. Like, I'm not even kidding you. In one day, I think I took out 19 episodes. I mean, no excuses there. Like, I just don't have a life. Like, it's just... Once you get started, you can't stop. Like, I just, I love Ted Mosby. Like, he's my boy. Um, I just think um, Barney is just, like, the funniest kid ever. Like, Marshall and Lily for life. I just love that show so much. It is hilarious. So, for food, my mother has recently went to Trader Joe's and gotten me food. Oh, my God. I am in love with this. So, we have... The Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Covered Marshmallows. Light and fluffy marshmallows drenched, drenched in smooth dark chocolate. Literally, I'm probably going to gain at least 30 pounds in next week because these two items are going to kill me. And the other one is the Trader Joe's Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. Oh my god. Literally, these two are addicting. Oh my gosh, I can't even describe to you guys. I have... Once you put chocolate, anything chocolate related, in my possession, like, that's it. Like, they're gone within, like, an hour. I don't know how I've managed to, like, not devour all of this, but I somehow I have. But soon enough, my mom's gonna have to go out and get more. So because, honestly, guys, these are addicting. They are so good. And as for music, I've been loving Pandora, which is, like, an app. If you haven't heard of it, I don't know where you've been. But it's pretty popular. And I listen to it when I'm, like, doing my homework or studying. Because, like, I don't know, it's kind of cool to, like, not know what song's going to come on next. And I don't have to buy the songs in order to listen to them. So I think that's kind of cool. And through Pandora, I've kind of fell in love with The Fray. Like, I have their, um... Uh, what is it called station and on like my pandora account and every song of theirs that i've been hearing i just i love and it's just so good it's like my type of music the two albums that i just seem to love the most like every song i hear is just like flawless to me i think it's called how to save a life and i think the other album's just called the fray they are so good i'm not even kidding you and they just um came out with another album called love don't die i think so i have to start listening to that they're just so good the lead singer is amazing i don't know like a lot about them i've just started to get into them but seriously they're amazing and also through pandora i've been loving loving the john legend station i love john legend his song all of me is just beautiful like no words can describe it. it's just a beautiful song um oh my gosh i, ca I can't even talk about it it's just too many emotions but Seriously, both of those artists are amazing. Okay, so that wraps up my February favorites. I hope you guys liked watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you want to see. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.